I am now to read you my poem to a box of detergent. Oh, detergent so solidly packed, your dull blue-gray mess before your messianic glimmer and glamour, you imbue in the vestments I wash. You are the baptizing redeemer, the blessed particles that consecrate, that removes the filthy stains, the vulgar stench and grimy blemishes that commemorate their passage through each day. O oh, pure, unspoilt detergent, how you struggle to enthuse our soiled garments, to soothe them with exalting scent, with perfumes of lavender, apple, and lemon. You gift our sordid cloth to remove our ordure's odour, the vile evidence of our sloth. Yet each cleansing absolution is defiled by fluids, excrescences, and mephitic vapours of our body's slow rotting. O oh, purifying detergent! In your box of blue and white, patiently you rinse in whirling water, never wavering from your purging task. You never refuse to enter the putrid fray to battle against the miasmic mire, only to be flushed away amidst the scum, to be condemned, despised, like the muck you purge. O oh, noble detergent, there is no justice to see you gurgle down the drain with the fouled water and the waste to watch you go enfeebled and expelled. O oh, loyal detergent, sure friend, how I weep to see you seep down into a gloomy sticks, where you are besmirched and doomed to spend eternity a damned saviour who will never rise on judgment day. You will never be seated on the right hand of the supreme ideal box of detergent. A supreme detergent that dispatches that expands its offspring of blue-gray beads. Not once, but time and time again, a massive army of saving suds, bubbling ebullient in futility. Oh, poor churned detergent, how I grieve to see your sacrifice for just a short moment's reprieve from dirt upon cuff, collar or sleeve. Oh, damned redemptive detergent, cleansing redemption. Cleansing champion, you are a sullied hero. Could we be de but deter from dirtying detergent? or distinct some solving suds that thrive away our nasty muck. Thank you very much.